It's no secret that Apple intelligence is behind the competition and it's not even available to the public yet. On the other hand, Google Gemini is getting better and better and you can use it on your iPhone right now. That said, Google doesn't offer a dedicated Gemini app for iPhone, so let's change that by adding Google Gemini to the iPhone home screen. To add Google Gemini to the iPhone home screen, I will be using the Shortcuts app. But before we begin, first install the Google app on your iPhone. The shortcut we will create will use the Google app to run. Search for the app in the App Store or click the link in the video description to install the app. With that said, here are the steps. Launch the Shortcuts app on your iPhone and tap the plus button in the top right corner. Use the search action bar to search for open URL section and tap to add it to the shortcut. Tap the empty URL section and type the URL you see on the screen. You can also find the URL in the written guide linked in the video description. Tap the downward arrow next to the name and use the rename function to rename it to Gemini. Now tap the share button at the bottom and choose the add to home screen option. Here you can give the shortcut an icon and color. We recommend pairing blue color with the sparkle icon to give it a look closer to Gemini. You can even go one step further and use the image upload function to upload your own app icon. Don't worry, you don't need to scour the web for the icons. I have already created and added both dark and light style Gemini icons for you to download. You can find them in the written guide linked in the description. After downloading the icon, tap the choose file option and navigate to the downloads folder. Tap the app icon you downloaded to upload. Finally, tap the add button to add it to the home screen. And that's it. You can now tap the shortcut to open Google Gemini directly from the iPhone home screen. If you have not used Gemini before, Google will show you a splash screen. Tap on use Gemini to grant it the required permission. And that's about does it for this video. If you enjoyed this guide, click here to learn how to resize images on iPhone in seconds using shortcuts. I will see you there. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.